Hello and welcome to another Star Wars Destiny game. This time we're looking at a league game uh, out of the top eight between Dragon and Nightbringer. Um, I will just tell them to start. That's a classic. We had this, uh, yes, you can start. We had this um, in the last two leagues. Um, And both know each other quite well from the league and both are pretty good players. Um, that's why they made it to the top cut. Great analysis as always. I accuse myself for not uploading any videos the last time, uh, the last weeks. Um, had a couple of family and work issues, so I wasn't able to produce anything except the German nationals and um, I expect the games to be up in maybe next next week or or something about that before Nordics for sure just putting some pressure on myself okay looking at the game um, we have the classic Satine versus the classic what Jabba deck and he's doing his turning dice thing already turn to disrupt and resource uh, wanting he wants to disrupt two of uh, Nightbringer's resources and he's going for the okay he's going for the Satine die that's interesting and now Dragon can just disrupt him and crush his, crush his turn, but he doesn't know that Nightbringer has nothing ready yet and just can play his well connected to get some resources if he needs to and play a fickle. The probe won't do anything since, uh, except if he hits that hit motive, that could be something. In motive is good against uh, Nightbringer's Fickle. We see two Fickle and an Entourage in Dragon's hand, so both players are um, playing some scoundrels, scoundrels this round. Um, no possible Java target would have liked to play this uh, hover tank. Uh, those were some good cards he has to put on the bottom of his deck. Not Probably not happy to see that. The discard can be something but I guess he wants to re-roll into resources or double focus. Okay, Dragon wants that resource and he will get it. Um, if he takes it, the uh, let's look at those die. Uh, I have this camera ready. Um, you can see two discard, and he's going for the discard. I think it's a good choice, uh, since yeah, uh, since Dragon was desperately looking for that resource. Now he gets it, but has no more entourage in hand. Has just the two fickle. They can do their thing as well, but I think Nightbringer is able to produce enough resources to buy them if he buys it now um, Dragon will just buy it back interesting um, he draws into a sudden impact which is great he can roll into a three which would be two on everyone and that's a one uh, Nightbringer, yeah, go for the probe. No, just showing the probe, not, not using it. Okay, it was smart to pick up that one resource. Now, um, Dragon has the chance to buy that fickle for two. Will he? I actually don't think so. He could play his own second fickle. I don't know how these fickle wars work. Probably I'm dumb, uh, <laughs> because I'm dumb. Yeah, that's that's uh, the main reason. And yeah, 
he gets the sudden impact, which is fine for him. Looking at the decks for a second tells me that we have. I don't see any special. No. Um, the interesting thing is how many anti vehicle, uh, anti support cards Dragon has. Okay, they're passing. Nothing happening this round. I'm surprised. So, we had a double pass here. Okay. Um, I was looking at the, at the list that moment. Uh, first action for Nightbringer is to activate. Both have the same resources and the same cards played. Um, uh, Nightbringer received a little bit of damage and now we see these hands. That's the uh, only removal he has. And it falls on the discard, which is, I think that's great. Um, for for Nightbringer. Okay, we see the fist being played. Um, let's zoom in again. We have a free indirect, a discard, and a two disrupt coming out of uh, Dragon. That's actually a good side if Nightbringer would need resources this round, which is at least for now not the case. He just wants to do the fist thing this round. <laughs> and the prop is fine. Um, not yet, not, not, the prop is fine for him, so he knows he can uh, be safe from any events, but there are actually no events in Dragon's hands. He just has the hired muscle, which Nightbringer will realize for now. Okay, let's let's get rid of that back. Okay, rolling in the other fickle lands on a discard. No need to go for. Um, truths here, since yeah, that would be done. He would lose uh, two resources and give his opponent one. So again, I'm my analysis is on point. Okay, he's rerolling that die. We are at two, four disrupt and three resources, or two resources if you count the pay side in. Okay, no chance to play that entourage. He's happy to see it for the next round. So uh, he could choose not to use Java's ability here just to get the entourage for next round. Um, why I'm picking on my analysis is because I played a no destiny the last, no real destiny the last, I think, four or five weeks. I just made a one draft when the set arrived in Germany. We had it pretty late. Okay, R2 rolling in. Getting a disrupt and now he can turn one of his die to a three and pump out four damage. But that's a obvious hidden motive target. Okay, he chooses not to go for the fickle, probably anticipating the hidden motive. And the two damage is something Nightbringer thinks he can take. Okay, he rolls into okay, and he uses the ability. I'm not not sure that I'm. No, I'm not. I don't like that choice. Uh, but what do I know? Uh, he has the fist, and with an entourage, with what? He would be f um, far ahead next round, and goodbye. If he produces even more resources, go for buying these fickles to increase the special damage. Okay, uh, playing Astro's lightsaber and keeping that one hired muscle for the reroll. 
um, that bring us safe from, from one of these die, probably a fickle if it, if it rolls into a um, ranged side. So let's see what he does with the C3PO double ability. He could go for a ton of resources. Okay, he resolves the two side for one. Okay, and even more resources. Yeah, uh, good choice. Uh, he needs to catch up to the fist. The fist is um, doing the fist thing. And the disrupt, yeah, interesting. The question is, will he play the hired muscle or reroll? I think. Isn't rerolling the correct choice here? No, it is not. The correct choice is, uh, I won't criticize here because what do I know? Okay, and he loses all of his resources. Receives, uh, Nightbringer receives two damage into Java. This rolls three damage again, and that's three indirect. So let's look at these die. Okay, we have two resources, two more resources, four disrupts, so no resources this round for Nightbringer. One indirect and four, so four indirect. Um, if he decides to go for a reroll, he could probably. Mm, hmm. But. Is a reroll the thing he wants? Um, showing that he resolves his die shows me that he does not want to do that. Yeah, he deals four indirect. Uh, okay, dragon takes the resources. We'll lose uh, not one yet. Okay, maybe Nightbringers thinking about using Thiet to gain a resource. But there are four disrupt showing, so. Nice. Okay, um, Dragon buys the figure. Something I did not. I did not see coming. What? Well, did did Nightbringer just pass? Ah, okay, he chooses and buys it back. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that's that's the fickle games people are talking about. Okay. I don't know what he will do with the delve. I think the delve is only, let's see, yeah, you could Mega Blaster and Fist. Fist is out already, so he's playing one triple zero. That's an interesting choice in his deck. Um, I did not see that yet. Um, and he plays, Nightbringer plays Flames of the Past, two electromagnetic pulls. Those are great in this matchup, and um, I was talking about uh, before. This mantle is in in Dragon's deck, and I think that's it. Yeah, this mantle is in his deck one time to destroy vehicle uh, support, so the fist will stay in the game. Oh, can he could he could dismantle it if he produces enough resources? So. Nightbringer has to look out for that. He probably did when he disrupted four resources last round. Okay, Fickle rolling in. Fickles. And we see the Mega Blaster, Desperate Measures. Nice. Okay, so now would be the time to des Desperate Measure. Yeah, go. He goes for Heavy Motive. 
Falls on the discard, then okay. Hmm. I think yeah, that sucks. Okay, he loses the fist. That that's fine. Uh, now he's eager to go for the um, Mega Blaster play. Okay. Shouldn't he use no? He's using Delph. Okay. So no what power action this round. Okay, no more cards. He probably hopes to get something out of Jabba to, to get a reroll. We have no removal in uh, Dragon's hand, but Dragon wants to produce those resources to play the uh, to play a Chewie's Chewie's blaster rifle. Okay, so I think this round the game will explode. Okay, desperate measures against the hired muscle. Good choice in my eyes. Can always produce resources to um, to buy the fickle and then dragon would be even more behind. Is he behind? I don't those game games can go either side so fast, and um, with with Nightbringer having no revolts, uh, it seems like this round is in favor of okay, he's putting down another entourage, so we will not see no entourage out of Nightbringer in this game. At least I think so. I think this game will explode this round. <laughs> we have no removal, so Dragon can do what he wants, and. Um, Nightbringer can do what he wants, at least we know that. Buying the Fickle is an option, but not the smartest. Okay, he's going for the Chewbacca rifle, putting one damage on C3PO and rolling the discard. Nightbringer will for sure take a huge beating this round, but he is will be able to put out some damage, and I think huh, he needs a focus. He needs a focus out of uh, what or the Sentinel Messenger, and then he will go nuts. If he does not roll the focus, his round won't be that great I guess he has the resource to pay for the fist one time so okay and is he using that again dragon thinking about turning the, the um, fickle die as well hmm um, if you wonder why they are communicating so well, they are not. They are not in chat. They are talking via Discord. And I have some problems with my sound, so I can't go in there and uh, listen to them. Can be distracting, but probably would give more insights. Maybe um, you could commentate down below in the comment section uh, would you want to hear players players commentary over my brabbling I, I think I know the <laughs> answer but uh, I'm still asking <laughs> okay and he rolls the focus that is such such a good such such a lucky roll since uh, what died okay and there goes something and yeah, well, now C3PO will die this round, but he will, except if he gains a resource, I think, hmm, no, he will die anyways, four damage is totally an easy option here. 
okay we have a pay site I wouldn't use that pay site I would go for the double focus but that's just me probably you could take the resource hmm. and then turn the fist okay he focuses into double focus yeah he does that goes for the two and the three damage maximization is good so see see 3po is dead he can heal for one uh, for two but um, that will just lose uh, the nightbringer one damage and when c3po dies this deck loses a lot of a lot of um, a lot of uh, how do you call it A lot of his mom its momentum, but he has dealt some uh, a lot of damage already. What is dead? Uh, Jabba is at uh, three hit points remaining. Okay, so now we have a dead C three PO, uh, three wasted resources, and six damage on R two. If Nightbringer gets lucky and rolls something good with the fist again, he's he's in a good spot. Okay, overriding is a great choice. If he gets the free here, which is total possibility. Okay, we have the fist. And now he has to heal. That's a three. We have one disrupt, two blanks, and the free. Okay. Does he want to buy? No, he clay. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he was at seven. So C three PO. Uh, so R two would have been dead anyways. Yeah, and that's this game here. Uh, oh, wow, my analyst just stopped for a moment. I thought he could heal through, but he was at seven, not at six. Miscalculation. Okay. Well, what do we have there in Dragon's Hand? That's um, Jin's Blaster, Resistance Cruise. Okay, no removal except um, a heal card. We have the Electromagnetic Pulse, Forsaken. Yeah, Forsaken, no Desperate Measures. Yeah, okay, so he's taking him down completely. Um, would have been nice to use that against the great speeder, I guess. Could have just forsaken that die. As long as he has the, the option to do so. But yeah, Dragon will die this round. Okay, Dragon buys the fickle. Will he buy it back? And there goes the healing. Uh, Epoch ambush doesn't matter. Yeah, go for the healing. Rolls a discard, a discard, not a. Mm, what? No. Okay. I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, so he uh, just took the wrong card. Uh, yeah. Showing his hand, Nightbringer is uh, such a nice guy. Showed, showed the probe before and now showing his electromagnetic pulse. Okay, this card, yeah, something he could go for, but um, nothing that would change. He needs, uh, I don't know what he needs. He needs, yeah, okay, he surrenders at this point. Okay, good game. That round goes. Um, in favor of Nightbringer, playing the fifth round, 
two and the Mega Blaster in the in the upcoming round. So uh, he was able to kill the droids at the right moment. 